Hold on. Ready, rolling, and action. In a public statement yesterday, Adam Kishbach and Nathan Van de Giesen, th just, uh, this is awkward. I don't, this isn't good for news. In a public statement yesterday, Adam Kishbach and Nathan Van de Giesen of the Waffle Stompers discussed and apologized for the recent events that took place with the regards to their show with Real Big Fish and the fans that were unable to attend the concert. We messed up. We're in the wrong here. We, we, we blew it, guys. Yes, thank you, Nathan. Um, we at the uh, Waffle Stompers headquarters would like to issue an, a, an official apology. We understand that the problems that crea we created and the confusion that we created with our fans and our sponsors um, was detrimental. Uh, we plan to make it up the best, the best that we can for all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our own Jeff Wisniewski was able to sit down with Adam Kishbach and ask him a few questions about the event. You find out the show is sold out. What's going through your head? Millions of things were swirling around in my head. There were, there were tens of twenties of people who couldn't get tickets for this show that wanted to come see us. I just posted and publicized a video online saying, it doesn't matter, just go to the show. Technically for Rutgers students and their individual guests only, do not fear. This is easily remedied. Don't worry, I said. You can just get to the show and you will get in. Even your own band members are calling this a mess up. How are you going to make this up? to your fans that you let down. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's it it shook the grounds within the waffle stompers to a to a, a great great velocity. Took our the integrity, the shreds of integrity right out of us, right right out of the band. So December fourth, we are going to be opening for the pie tasters, mustard plug, and catch twenty two. And we are going to put on the greatest show for those 20 or so fans. Just the best show that we could, that we could do. And how are you not going to send your fans on a wild goose chase to get these tickets? Well, uh, we did a couple things to make sure, took a, the proper precautions to make sure that would not happen. Okay, this time we have tickets on hand. And we promise to all of our fans that we're going to be there and ready for them for whenever they need, they need the tickets that they need. By phone, and by the modern technology, Facebook, MySpace, email, thewafflesnobbers at gmail.com. And we will make sure that each person out there, each person out there, each person out there has a ticket in their hand. The Waffle Stoppers always get requests to do something a little bit slower, a little bit better, easy listening on the ears. So the first half of the song is going to be nice and easy for you all to enjoy. No, I mean, the interview went great. I mean, I wish the kid took off his glasses. I mean, he was hiding behind him. I felt the whole damn time. That's just me. How was that, Jimmy? 